even purring. Five people that you find at high school. Yeah. One, you have the tall one. Even though he's only about 14, 15, he's already about six foot five or something. Don't know why I looked up there. Oh look, I think I can see my dignity. And if you look very closely, I think I can see my hairline. Because of this, even the teachers were afraid of him. They never said anything, but we knew. Number two, the autism group. Me. The ones that have the loudest voices in the cafeteria and always talk about nerdy stuff and all that. And are just fairly weird. Number three, teacher's pet. Now, I have been this before. Yeah, we already know when we get to college, it's going to be a different story. <laughs> All right, Lewis. Oh, for God's sake. Hi, Billy. What are you doing here so early? Well, I just wanted to come in and uh, help you pull all the books out and everything that we need to study. Good Lord, Billy, go home. Go home right now. A normal teenager would stay in bed all day, being lazy. While you, you just come in here, annoy me. I'll hide you. Just go home, Billy. Number four, the class claim. So he's seen something like Russell Howard, our life at the Apollo. And all of a sudden, he thinks, oh, I can be a comedian. You're not. At least that's professionals. And number five, the noisy kids. But they're noisy in school. But when they get out, and they're on, like, I don't know, zebra crossing or something, about to cross over, they're right, hey, hey. What am I doing? You can just see the cars are just beeping and all that, ready to go. Just run them over. Just run them over, just don't even think about second outs, just, just do it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, it's a bit bad, uh, so yeah, uh, just like any other of my videos. So uh, eh, like, subscribe, we got a week off now.